Hello everyone, my name is Bashar and welcome to my channel. Today we're going to review Thinker S. So arrived yesterday, I'm so excited. Let's go see what's inside the box. Okay, now <clears throat> it says have a filament. It's the manual. Oh, this is nice. Have some instruction. Well, let's see what we have else here. This is a quick start. I don't know what the difference between this. This is like the full manual, which is nice. You guys can see it. And this is the part was come with it. Okay, let's see. Wow, this is a big, huge. Oh, wow. And we have the printer here. I ordered the S because it was there. It is good deal. Here is the tools. The USB card and this is the bracket kit. More screw and this is an e. extra gift spare screw. Oh, well, that's cool. I like that. But we have also another the bracket kit. Oh, this is the left to have the sensor start back. After I've been using the printer for like, uh, I would say it for a month and I've done a lot of print stuff, um, let's review what the result, what I think, what I believe as a stock printer and somebody new to the, the 3D printer, if that's going to be a good print or not. I'll start with the stuff. Uh, I would say though they come with the memory card. I start with the I start with this guy scroll. It was <clears throat> I really like it. I like how it's come out. That just out of the box. Once I done everything, I just did leveling and it's come out very beautiful. And I use the same filament from other one, the silver one. I really like the fil filament in general before even I buy the printer. It's come out very good. After that, I print the, the cube and it was good. You can see it's, it's good. Some ghosting here, but in general, out of the box, turns out it's good. Uh, the other, the third thing I printed was come with the memory card, the Banshee. Was good, but there was some issue here, cooling issue. I think the speed or... Uh, you can see also here it doesn't come out very well. But I star slice some big stuff to, to test it because the idea for me to buy the printer it allowed me to bring big stuff, big big project with that problem. I star with this one, come out very beautiful, and I slice it with the Cura 4.8 and come out very beautiful. After that, I print the iron from Game of Th the, Iron, uh, the Iron Throne from Game of Thrones and turns out very really good that the mistake I did here I use a zero filament <laughs> and uh, it's really fragile it's easy to break but in general it's come out very well uh, I was really impressed once come but you can see start breaking a little bit because there's a zero filament but in general it's amazing and beautiful come out after that I print the skeleton also come out very beautiful, which is also very hard to print. 
because all these spaces and all these stuff, the calling system was working very well and came out beautiful. My son asked me to do him uh, for the switch. Uh, like to say, it's his memory card. I made this one for him, the cube. Now, when I made that, I made it with the batch. I made like around 10 of them together in the same time to print like a multiple items. And that's why I, I was shocked for the result when I print multiples items in one time. Not just the cube, I print the lid in one batch in one time and come out very well. Now, this one, you print them separate with it. And also I use uh, the Thinker S to print all these pieces and I glue it back. But turns out very, very beautiful and the details and everything, beautiful. After that, I decided to do something for long brand. I brand the, uh, the T800 and it's come out very, very beautiful. And I learned from my mistake this time from the, the iron throne. I put 20% filament and fell, sorry, in the, the T800. And it took me, I think, two days to print it. But the result was beautiful. I was so impressed when it's come out. Uh, yeah, really, it's it's really beautiful. And again, I used Cura. I didn't too much, uh, I had not done too much anything colored, like everything symbol, whatever in the profile. Now, as I said, I like to print with zero and fill. I try again the Mandalorian from the Star Wars. It's come out very beautiful. And when I try to remove it from the bed, I push out and I prick it. But in general, it's still look good. I really love it how it's printed out. Uh, I try to also tr test it can print small stuff, small objects. This is the Looney. Uh, for the release for the, car, the shop card and I printed a print bunch of them but turns out very good uh, try also organize my my uh, tools I print all these pieces with Tinker S now I glue them <laughs> but in general I print multiple items in in, in, uh, in one time and I really work very well now in general, as I say, the printer, it's amazing and the quality, what you get all the time, perfect. Yeah, like I really, really uh, impressed with the printer. If I try to print small stuff or big stuff or uh, detailed stuff, I still all the time get very uh, beautiful result. Uh, what I like, what I don't like in the printer. One of the things I don't really like about the printer is the power supply. I don't really like the power supply. I don't mind it, but I wish was hide somewhere under the printer. That one of the things I really don't like. The other thing I really don't like when I try to upgrade the firmware, it was like kind of like you need to, to download, you need to build your hacks file and all this stuff. And I say, as I say, as you and you and the 3D printer, maybe you come back from background, have zero IT or zero programming, or just you need to design stuff and you start print. I would prefer from Iron One next time, just to have those files ready to go. Like you just download them and something easy. You don't need to build the, the hex file and go through all these process. And also I find the screen it, it kind of hard. I would say it's small, but I wish it was a little bit big, but in general it did the job and uh, I'm planning to like it connected with the actor print. I, I agree with the actor print actually and work perfect, but as I mentioned, it's, it should be a little bit bigger, or should be more helpful. Now, what I like, the price is amazing for compared with that build, like with the printer with this size of the same of the size of the print, it's uh, 300 by 300 by 400 millimeter, which is really really good and big printer, and you can see I can print big stuff. Uh, the price is good. Uh, it's great out of the box, like here is nothing I need to do too much. Assembling time was really nothing, like 30 minutes, it's up and run. Um, the quality was for the, the part, I feel like everything looked good and nice. Plus of that, the support I find in, in the Facebook and all these, they're like, I see some people have some small issue and really they're, uh, they're back to them immediately and doesn't take too much time to reply to them, which is something you really look for it if you three, for a new and the 3D printing. That why the silent port is a beautiful. There's nothing. There's not noise. Not, uh, noise. Even the fan. I was expecting to be loud, but it's really. Uh, I done a lot of me uh, online meetings and where we were from home, and I done a lot of calls, and there was zero uh, 
noise that nobody noticed that. It's really, really good printer. I really press with the printer. I really like and love to print and use it to print. Now, who I recommended this printer? As I said, it's a great out of the box that mean it's gonna be very good and very and beautiful choice for you as a new to 3D printer. And that's why you're gonna have a build, big build and you're gonna be ready to go to go big and doesn't like when you buy a small printer or like if you go buy those uh, Creality under three, you buy a build, small build uh, blade and take your time and you go buy another one. This is will be good, just buy it and you'll be done and you're gonna print everything you like. Also, if you like to uh, to be your second printer, as I mentioned, it's print everything you need, one item, small, big, multiple items in, in the same time. That means as a second print is a good choice for you. Uh, also, if you have a lab and you need to expand your lab, like you want to have five, six printer, it's perfect because it's, it's easy to connect with Octoprint and it's work great and I sent some file to test it and worked very well for me. Yeah, like I believe this is a good printer. I really love the printer, as I said many times. I really impressed with the price. I pressed with the support. Everything great. That's my review for you today. I'm going to do more video about the printer. Uh, maybe explain more stuff. Some stuff I find. If I find there's some problem, I'm going to share it with you guys in the future. That's why. If you like my video, please subscribe and hit the like, the like button. And thank you and see you in the next video.